Merchandising is selling. The way we present our merchandise on the sales floor is the easiest way to set us apart from our competition. If our store is not prettier and merchandised in a shoppable way, our customers will not get the full effect of what Lotus is and has for them. It is our job to present clothing and accessories in ways that make the customer want to purchase complete outfits. Pairing things that are on with the current trend is so important to making these things amazing. In this video, we will present you with the basics of merchandising and why it is so important. If you receive shipment on a Wednesday, you are expected to have the floor set complete by the next day at opening. Some managers prefer to grab some coffee, pump up the music, and merchandise the store from 9 at night to about midnight. Some prefer the mornings, but as a rule, the store is in better shape when done at night by merchandisers that have not worked the floor that day. There is no risk of it not being complete by the morning. See our processing shipment video. We get inspiration from all kinds of places. Other stores, online, Pinterest, colorcombos.com, and studying the color wheel in fashion blogs and fashion magazines really help us out. Make sure you research and are an understanding of our current trends as we are the trendsetters in our areas. We try to have the new trends before they really take off. It is also a good idea to have sample color schemes and themes ready before you come in to merchandise. Next what we do is clear the wall. We call this clearing the palette. And now we roll out the racks to make sure you don't leave anything dragging the ground. Right now we're looking for our inspiration for our racks. It could be a boho rack, it could be a beach theme rack, it could even remind you of a circus. We're just trying to look for those pieces that'll put the puzzle together. Hey Ashley, these would be great on the front wall. Yeah. These pom-pom shorts are really popular right now and it's a great color scheme to start the front wall. Totally cute. Hi! Can <laughs> we go find some hot pink maybe from our older merchandise so we can mix it in with this wrap? Okay. This dress is so cute. I think I'm going to put it on the front wall too. Look at how cute this dress is. Those back details in this color will look great with those pom-pom shorts that we grabbed earlier. I'm going to put it in this front wall too. These shorts may seem a little high, but as you notice over here, we're going to raise this dress up just a little bit so that it matches it and it's balanced. Filler colors are very important. They really complete the rack. Filler colors could be cream, white, or black. It's important that all the hangers are facing the right way. It just helps with size ordering. So just make sure you turn everything around and that everything is facing towards the front of the store. Accessorizing is really important when completing your wall. Make sure that everything is also color coordinated and make sure that you have jewelry just on the face outs. And now we've finished painting our palette. We've accessorized, we've mixed the old in with the new, and we've made sure that our pants are not dragging the ground. Moving on to these smaller racks. And just like the walls, we've cleared our palette. Customers love seeing inexpensive items. Make sure you put it out front. And this is the item that I used for my inspiration for this rack. We even incorporated the old in with the new. Now we're moving on to the next wall. And you always want to make sure you transition this wall into the next wall so it flows well. We always try to find items that will blend the racks together so that the transition works. We don't want it to look too choppy with colors that don't work well together. This is not okay. Please take the necklaces off while you're working with them or else they'll get lost in the middle. Okay. With this wall, we went with the boho vibe. Our color scheme inspiration came with these shorts, so we pulled out a lot of the pastel greens and the peaches. Notice that our maxis and plazas are not touching the ground. 
Make sure y'all are hiring the right girls. Managers, make sure you are hiring well. Make sure you hire girls who are passionate about merchandising and are... Mannequins. We want to make sure we put really hot items on the mannequins on the window and items that may not have hanger appeal on the ones inside. When you're done, you always want to do a store run through. Make sure that you think it looks shoppable. Enter merch is to be done on Sundays, 30 to 40 minutes before opening to change the store. One angle and the one I like the most is to take items from the walls and move them to the floor racks and move the rack items that have not been noticed or seen up to the walls. Often the color schemes are there and you can totally change the store like that. After the weekend, you'll need to spruce up the store to make it look new and exciting again. The goal is to make the store look fuller, change face outs, change the main walls, Make sure to highlight racks that are still full and not being touched. Also switch items in the rack that may not be moving to the waterfall. To recap on everything, you always want to make sure that you pay attention to detail. 